Hello guys and welcome to this video. So I'm going to show you how to set up and record gameplay footage for a PlayStation 3 in 2022. So before I get into the video guys, I'd just like to point out that I did not discover the solution for this problem for myself. I'd simply watch what others have done by watching videos on YouTube, but I wanted to build on that for a more up-to-date audience. So the most critical piece of equipment that you're going to need to achieve this is this little box here. Now I purchased this off Amazon. This is called a HDMI splitter. So get a little bit closer to the camera. As you can see, this has three HDMI ports. The first one being the HDMI in. This little hole here is for the power supply. Now I'll make sure that it comes with a power supply. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why in a moment. And there are two HDMI outs there. So I wanted to make sure that I got one that came with its own power supply because I'd read what others had done and for some reason um, there wasn't enough power going through this by just plugging it into um, a, a PC via a USB connection. So I made sure that I got one with its own power supply. Now there are many on um, there, are, there are many available on Amazon and you've got to be careful which one you buy because a lot of them do say cannot bypass HDCP. So, without further ado, this is how you set it up. Okay guys, so here is all the equipment laid out on the floor. Now I think that this is the easiest way, it's certainly the most tidiest way for me to show you. I could show you it all hooked up, but then it will be a mess of cables. So I will show you it hooked up once I finish this part of the video. So let's go over the equipment. So here is our PlayStation 3. Next is our capture card to capture the gameplay footage. So this is the Elgato HD 60S Plus capture card. Now these things are not cheap. This was about 170 to 180 pounds, which I also purchased off Amazon. Also I'm going to need a laptop or a tower. And lastly, three that's three HDMI cables. Okay, so the first HDMI cable wants to go into the back of your PlayStation 3, and the other end wants to go into the import of the HDMI splitter. Here is the power supply for my HDMI splitter. So we'll go over that again. First HDMI cable into the back of your PlayStation 3, the other end of that cable into the import of the HDMI splitter. Your second HDMI cable wants to go into one of the out ports on the HDMI splitter. The other end of the same cable wants to go into the import of your capture card. This cable here, this is so this will function. This goes into your laptop and there it is. It's a USB. So that should that one of these should be with your your capture card. Your third HDMI cable wants to go into the out port of the capture card. Here is the other end of that cable. Now this wants to go into the back of your TV. So go through that again. The first cable, your HDMI cable wants to go into the back of your PlayStation 3. The same cable wants to go into the import of the HDMI splitter. Your second cable into one of the out ports of the HDMI splitter. The other end of that cable goes into the import of your capture card. The third cable into the out port of the capture card and the other end of the cable you want to put into the back of your TV. Obviously make sure that your TV will take a HDMI cable. Okay guys so that's all the equipment that you're going to need. Now let's show you it hooked up. Okay guys, so now I have everything set up. So I'm going to run through things just once more. So here's the PlayStation 3. You're going to need three HDMI cables. The first HDMI cable is in the back of the PlayStation 3. The other end to that goes into your splitter just here into the import. As you can see, the light is on. 
the power cable inserted. So your second HDMI cable goes in one of the two out ports. The other end of that cable then goes in to your capture card, which is here, into the import. The third HDMI cable goes into the out port. The other end to this cable goes into the TV. So, your USB cable to your capture device, as you know, will go into the USB port on your laptop or tower. So, it will work with older Elgato capture card models. For AV Media, I don't know. You'd have to check that out. You'd have to, you'd have to give it a go, really. So, the next thing I'm going to do is switch on the PlayStation. Now. If you're doing this for the first time, hold the power button on the PlayStation 3. Hold it, you'll hear it beep once. Keep holding it until you hear a second beep. That should take you to the settings once your PlayStation boots up. It will ask you uh, that, it will let you know that a HDMI cable has been detected. Do you want to accept those settings? Select yes. There'll be a further message asking. I think maybe audio for the HDMI, you want to select yes once again, and then it should come up into boot up on your PlayStation 3. So here I'm going to turn on the PlayStation 3. Oh, in fact, what I will do first, I'm going to turn on the software for my Elgato. So that should turn that on. So that's on. Turn on the PlayStation. As you can see, it's booting up. And as you can see, it's coming on on the TV. And also, down here on my laptop. So that's using the software for the Elgato. Everything it's coming through nice and clear, and I have audio, which is fantastic. So there you have it, guys. Everything works as I hoped it would. I have to admit, I didn't think that this would actually work. This cost around £15, and to finish off the video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to the Amazon website and show you the one that I purchased. So maybe you guys, anyone that wanted to try and do this could follow this video. So I'm going to take you now to the Amazon website and show you this exact HDMI splitter. Okay everyone, so here we have the Amazon home screen. Now in the search bar, you want to type in HDMI splitter PS3 HDCP and click on that. So then you will get a long list of different HDMI splitters, different models, different manufacturers and varying prices. Now, I already decided that I wasn't going to spend a lot of money just in case it didn't work. So this is the one that I chose. The multi-bow HDMI splitter, one in, two out, 4K two-way HDMI splitter, priced at £14.98. And as you can see by the picture, it comes with a power supply. So if we go on to that, I'm going to the description of this. I wanted to show you guys something because I think it's important. It says here, will not bypass HDCP. Well, we already know that isn't true because I've shown you guys that it does work. And it also says in the description for PS3, PS4 and Xbox. So we know it works. Um, so that's basically it, guys. Um, I did have this sitting in my basket for a few days. I was undecided whether I was going to go for this. Anyway, in the end, I decided to take the plunge. And I'm happy to say that it worked for me. First time, no problems. Um, what I will say to you guys is that if you're going to purchase one, try and purchase this model. Or do purchase one with a power supply and also make sure it does bypass HDCP because you're going to want that. Um, 
I'm not very technically minded and if you want to drop me any questions or any comments I will try to answer them the best that I can. If you do have any problems do go over this video again and make sure that you've got all the connections set up in the correct way and um, that's about as much advice as I can give at this moment um, because it's very difficult when you can't see everyone else's setup. So there you have it guys, how to bypass the uh, HDCP for the PlayStation 3 and a setup. So thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Again, please leave your comments. If you could also, please give us a thumbs up. I would appreciate it and do consider subscribing. My channel is mainly a gaming channel, um, which is why I wanted to do this. Okay, guys, again, thank you for watching. Until the next time, you all take care.